It's Daniel's birthday week. Very excited, but also very stressed. This year we decided to host it at home, which is a big risk because that means I have a lot of prep. How do I try to not accumulate ridiculous amounts of plastic and sugar in my home, but yet keep people happy and entertained? <laughs> Are the people I'm gonna invite gonna come? Is the food gonna be served on time? Does somebody have allergies? There's just so many things that go into birthday parties and I definitely haven't been doing this for that long, only four years. <laughs> you know what? We've got a bounce house, right? So I don't need to worry about much if there's a bounce house. Come with me on our next domestic adventure, which is planning a birthday party. I have organized my whole week so I can do one cleaning task a day to get this house ready. Um, what kind of birthday cake you want? Cake. That's a good idea. Yeah, no, I have to wash the iPad now. The tablet. What? I'm gonna do some makeup, I'll be right back. Okay, let's go order ourselves a birthday cake. Ah, uh, Publix. It's where I go for all my beach day human sandwiches and birthday cakes. Although having Daniel in the store to pick out the cake may have been a bit too much. It's really hard to explain to a to a four-year-old that the birthday party is not today and we're not taking the cake home today. It was a kind of rough trip, but on the plus side, someone came and offered to put my card away for me. I love Publix. Stop it! Let's go home. I just scrubbed all my walls and I didn't even film it. I, I made a TikTok of it. So I'm gonna put it up here so you can watch it. But I did a lot of work and, and then Teddy came in with muddy footprints and it was a disaster. That was my cleaning task for today. The walls are scrubbed. Now my carpets are muddy, but the walls are scrubbed. Okay, it's nap time. And on only my second day of birthday prep, things got really rough. I was up super late last night editing a YouTube video. I'm still learning, so it takes me a little bit longer. But anyways, I didn't get to sleep till like 2 a.m. I let myself sleep in because that's what I needed. But I, that means I did miss my Bible time. So while I'm getting ready, I'm gonna listen to the Bible recap podcast and that counts. All right, so I'm just gonna count this week, everything that I'm doing as my spring cleaning. Maybe I'll just make my bed first. <laughs> if I'm overwhelmed with everything I need to do and I don't know where to start, making my bed is a great place to begin. Pairing a freshly made bed with some natural light from your open windows can really do a lot for your morning self. And even though I have a lot of extra things going on this week, I cannot forget my daily essential tasks. The dishes and one load of laundry a day. I already unloaded the dishwasher, so we are good to go on that. I need to do one load of laundry a day. We are a little behind. The dishes and laundry are never ending. And if I just take care of these tasks, that'll keep this house functioning for a long time. And I usually tackle these two tasks before I even get dressed in the morning. That way, the rest of my time is spent worrying about the kids and what we're gonna do for our morning activity. It's like 1.30, we got back from the mall around one. My birthday prep cleaning task today is to detail my kitchen, kind of like the same way you would detail a car, but I'm not doing anything without some music and plenty of goofing off. Nice! Ideally, I like to include wiping down my counters in the shutdown routine, but sometimes we just don't get to it. So once a month in my zone cleaning rotation, I like to give a little bit of special attention to my kitchen so I can focus on all the small details and all the small crumbs. This is why I don't consider this a daily task. This is a monthly task. I get to take my time. On an everyday basis, I'm moving fast, just looking for the dirt I can see. Plus, I'd rather clean my microwave now when it's really not that bad, versus when it's a huge project that's gonna take me an hour itself. But I'm not gonna lie, I've been really low on cleaning motivation lately, unless it's my basics. So the party that we're having this weekend is gonna serve as great motivation for me to get my countertops dust free. All right, so a lot of people think that because I talk a lot about cleaning that I must love cleaning and that I'm a clean freak. Um, but it could not be further from the truth. When I had Daniel and he was maybe one, or a, one and a half and I lived closer to my parents, whenever they would come over to babysit, they would secretly clean one thing in my house, whether it was my bathroom sink, my kitchen counters, the inside of my fridge. My dad, he would replace the sponges <laughs> in my sink because I just never did that. Sometimes we'd even, I didn't even have a sponge. I didn't have any routines, no shutdown, no morning routine, nothing. And you know what? They never said anything. And <laughs> I can remember one time my mom coming in, using the bathroom and she didn't say anything, but when I went in there, like after they had left, there was a caca ring 
in the bathroom that had been there. So I knew that she saw it and I was mortified. My mom taught us to clean, but man, doing it on your own with a kid, oh yeah, yeah, it gets overwhelming so fast. So I just remember that toilet caca ring moment, <laughs> the moment where I decided that I don't want my parents to have to see my house like that anymore. I can't tell you the last time they've had to come to my house and clean something, but I can't tell you how like impactful that was to have their support without judgment. And then I was the one that came to the realization that like, okay, I'm totally capable of doing this. I wanna start taking care of my home, but I wouldn't have gotten there and felt like so empowered if my parents or anyone had shamed me for how my house looked. And there are definitely times <laughs> there's a caca ring in my toilet right now that I should probably go scrub. Anyways, I can't tell you enough how powerful their example was. Never a nasty comment. And if you're in survival mode, no one should be making you feel guilty. People should be picking up a sponge, picking up a rag, and scrubbing some of that grime for you. Those are the people that you need to let in your home. For me, that's my mom and dad, so I got pretty lucky. Okay, now back to our appliances. They are currently covered in fingerprints. It's probably my only complaint about stainless steel appliances. So don't ever listen to if a product markets itself as fingerprint resistant. Nothing can resist the fingerprints of a toddler. And wiping down these appliances, I think is really the cherry on the top. So I'll maybe do it once a week if it bothers me. Okay, the last thing on my list, I need to wipe down these cabinets. You would never think that cabinets could get greasy, but check the ones above your stove. Okay, and I might as well just wipe down the trash can too. I mean, God forbid this thing be dirty. Okay, that took me an hour. I don't know why I thought I could do all that in 15 minutes. I think I did more than I expected. So, but for today, we're done. I'm taking a nap before I have to get ready to come back into this kitchen to make dinner. Um, and I will tell you, I never mopped. I never mopped. Oh, well, I lost the energy and then I just didn't care. And guess what? Neither did my guests, but I had the TP stocked though. And I plugged some air fresheners into my wall and everybody said it smelled great. So that worked. <gasps> it's like an answered prayer. My newly is here. Now this is my favorite time of the month. This dress I knew would be a winner. I could tell by the shape that it would fit me really well and I didn't have to wear a bra with it. It's like my number one qualifier. The next one was a little bit of a risk because I typically don't do cutouts. It's very cute, but incredibly sheer. That's a no-go. I rented this top. The skirt is mine. They work really well together, but I'm gonna have trouble getting out of it. This dress was a definite win. I didn't think the top would fit, but I love a crisscross back. The bust, per usual, is a little baggy, but extra points for having pockets. This one was my favorite pick. It's a mango dress. This is absolutely a Rosa Picosa dress. No pockets though, but all is forgiven. And I might need some boob tape. Okay, now that we've had our fun, it's back to business. Time for the toy purge. A little bit of a rough day at the park, just from the moment we got there to the moment that we left very abruptly, there was lots of screaming and crying. But it's 1 p.m., the kids are napping. And even though we had a rough day at the park, I promise not to take out my frustrations on this toy purge. I'm looking for any missing or broken pieces or anything I could give to Goodwill. So anyways, if I can't find a place for it, then it doesn't belong in this house. Well, that's a good rule for my closet too. I like to do a good toy purge before birthdays and Christmas. I have a lot of toy storage in this house, so there is a place for everything. And of course we're using Ikea storage. I can categorize everything, which makes cleanup a breeze. Not a whole lot to give away. And honestly, not even a whole lot for trash. I discovered there are lots of stains on my couch. Should probably go. I don't know if I've mastered the art of stain removal, but honestly, some shout and some warm water with Dawn dish soap works pretty well. And I didn't do any more cleaning this week, but let me introduce you to my party headquarters. It's the night before the party and Even though my kids are pretty young and I haven't done many birthday parties, I have always used these balloon garlands from Amazon and they are foolproof. All you gotta do is stick the little tails of the balloons into the plastic holes on the string and your balloon garland looks full and juicy. It's not completely foolproof though because the one problem I do have is figuring out how to get this big thing to hang on my wall without ripping the paint off. No casualties! Am I a genius? I might be a genius! 
Okay, I feel like this is anyone's reaction when you realize you can use command hooks for your project. Which is exactly what I did. And they're so tiny you can't even see them. They're not even. That is not even. Why is it doing that? But they're hanging. The good thing is if one side is too long, you can easily take the balloons out of their little holes. Much better. I did lose one or two balloons in this process. You missed it, but one popped and I screamed really loud. Gary balloons. <laughs> If you're in the midst of planning a kid's birthday party, please take the pressure off yourself. You don't have to have a perfect theme. I did not have a theme. The theme was everything that Daniel likes. So I am, no, I am not about having these wedding type birthdays for a five year old. No. Now for a quinceanera, <laughs> no holds barred. The cost of a party goes up so quickly. Um, even just doing like Amazon decorations in Party City was a was not cheap. Do whatever you want with your kids, spoil your kid, treat them however you want. I'm not gonna argue about a, a parent spoiling their kid on their birthdays, but it's okay to do it at your house and have paper plates. Meanwhile, David has been in the How's garage this whole time building a sandbox. We decided to put all of our efforts into two semi-large gifts this year, a sandbox and a playhouse for outside. And for my birthday, please just get me command hooks because this was genius. David and I were decorating, building, and assembling way into the night. I think we went to bed at around 1 a.m. But you could probably blame that on all the coffee I was chugging and brownies that I was eating. Oh, and if you're planning a party soon, you absolutely need an air pump. I got this one from Amazon. It looks like a pig. It's super cute. And with all the tiny balloons I had left over, I decided to make one more tiny garland to go on the staircase. In typical toddler fashion, Daniel only asked for two things for his birthday, a birthday cake and balloons. I can do that. Plus, I'm thinking these helium filled balloons will make great party favors. Who doesn't want to take a balloon home? With my last few ounces of energy, it's time for some finishing touches. Okay, I'm almost done. I have to put this on Daniel's door. This, this is extra. Water bottle labors. labels. Well, I gotta take... <laughs> I gotta take label off of all of these. But I think it'll be a really cute touch. Good. One. I remember my mom doing something like this for my birthday party, so it's kind of been a tradition in our family. And look, David is done building the playhouse, and the sandbox looks great. <sighs> There's always a crisis on the birthday. My main form of entertainment is not going to work. 30 mile an hour wind gusts. That's not safe for a bounce house. Here's my idea. Kites. Because if there's one thing you can do when it's windy, well, I hope it doesn't actually rain. But the vibe is Mary Poppins. Then I'm screwed. I got a pinata for inside. I'm gonna put the air fort downstairs. There's gonna be food. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. We just give my hair a good shake. Thank goodness I did my twisty braids last night. Whoa, big hair today. Oh, my pen. Don't look at my bits. <laughs> I'm gonna run to Target, I'm gonna get the kites and it's gonna be fine, everybody's gonna have fun, no one's gonna even know. No one's gonna know. Gloomy skies are definitely not what you wanna see on the day of a party and those trees are dancing outside. At around 10 a.m., Grammy and Boyla got here and so did the kites. I've got everything ready for all of our little party guests and Daniel loved the sandbox. I'm not surprised about that one. We were able to kill plenty of time inside with food, conversation, games, and the pinata. This was actually one of the pole kinds, no bat needed. And an hour after the party started, the sun came out and everyone rushed outside. Daniel shared with every single kid in the backyard and actually all the parents were like, kind of shocked that all of our kids played together so well and there was not one tantrum. It's an Easter miracle. <laughs> okay, and I have to tell you, I think the kites were probably my best idea ever. Everyone loved picking out their own and you know when you can get the parents off and enjoying something that you've done a good job. This was better than my original plan. Done. It was a, it was a success. <laughs> my lips are blue. Everybody was outside playing, flying kites. I had my Mary Poppins moment. Who needs a bounce house? I need a nap. Thank you for making it through this week with me. It was a lot of stress, but it ended so well. Some housekeeping business. I don't know if you can see the green dots, but when I upload videos, I see green dots. My laptop screen is brokey. It's corrupting all my video files. So if you see the green dots in this video, I'm sorry. I have to send it off to get fixed and that's gonna take two weeks, but I will be posting shorts. That's kind of my jam, you know? If you have a really good birthday memory from your childhood, I wanna hear about it. Or maybe it was a celebration you just had for your kid that you really loved. I mean, for me, I don't think I'll ever forget the kites. It, I truly had my Mary Poppins moment. 
So have a fantastic week. I'll see you here hopefully next week in some form or fashion. Um, I am praying for you and I will see you next time. Bye.